11 we'll come back again to this session on natural language processing in javascript in this session we'll learn about noun inflectors and verb inflectors so first of all we need the packet natural so to, to have access to it you just have to import it so let's start it's going to be var natural then we need to require this particular packet as to be able to use it so natural yes, now we have access to this packet so to work with inflectors, we there are two powerful packets that we'll also work with, which is a noun inflector and then the verb inflector. So let's go with the first one. So go to as now inflector. Then I need to create a, a, a new object of natural dot now inflector property, right? That is for the noun inflector. So we can do a lot of things with this. So some of the things we can do with this. We can do plural and then singular stuff. Let's say an example. So let's say I have a word like book. I want to convert book to plural. I can actually do it in this format. So control dot log. Let's take off this because we don't need it anymore. Then I'm going to apply this particular word I have here. Right, which is going to be our noun inflector. Noun inflector. Right dot plural. Whatever I want to do. So pluralize. Then I'll supply my word, which is going to be book. So if I go with this particular stuff that I have here into the book, it's now going to convert it to book. So to run it, I just go down here to load the name of my packet of my file. Perfect. So it has converted book to books, right? That is all it is. So in case you have a group of words that you want to do it, you can also do it in a simpler format of this. So let's say I have a file of doc, my document, right? An array of stuff. So these are index. Matrix sheep, you know that sheep is can be plural or singular, so we are going to be tricking it to see what it's going to work. And let's see what it's going to work. It's so going to be docs for each. There yeah, are many ways you can do that. Then I'm going to tap like function, it's a function call, it's a variable of this. Then console.log. Then we're going to go with our now inflector, right? Now inflector dot plural rise. Then we supply our particular word, which is x, right? So that is how to do that in this particular, in this format. In case you are running a, a group of words, so now let's save it and then let's run it and see. Perfect. So it is able to identify that index, then convert it to indices, matrix, and then even ship. So convert it and give us a draw. That is very, very useful, very, very interesting. So that is for in case you have plural words. So in case you have singular words, you can also do the same thing. In that same format so let's give it another example for the singular way it's going to be something like this let's comment this one out and to do singular ways just go with the same format and then you change this one from plural to singular so let's give it a singular singular ways, right so if i give it as boost we save it and let's run it it's going to print boost book for us because this plural which is quite interesting so it's very interesting and very simple and easy to use okay that is for now in practice now let's see another aspect you can also do with this particular package with the verbs right you can also work with verbs so let's go to verbs verb inflectors right so for the verb inflectors it's just going to create a simple variable of now of var verb vector Then I'm going to require it from new natural dot okay. right. So we have to we have this we have this one, not the first one. So okay, so that's what we're using to create it. Present bed vector. Then let's see an example. It's going to be console.log of whatever thing we want to do. So this is going to be console. It's going to be our verb here. Verb vector and then whatever you want to do so in case you have a web so this must be a verb not a verb like something like has right has is a verb a singular i want to convert it to plural so i can also do the same thing and then it's going to work for us let's comment this one out then let's see if i run it perfect so it was able to identify has and then convert it to have for us so let's supply something different which is like become 
terms, right? Which is a singular. We're going to convert it to a plural. So it's just going to be the same thing as become. Perfect. So that is one of the things. So in case you have the other way around, you can also do it in this format. So let's try the other way around. It's going to be this, and let's comment this one out. So in case it is a plural that you have, so and you want to singularize it, singular cast off. Right, singular. Yeah. I want to convert become to singular. If I run it, and you're going to see the difference. Perfect, right? Becomes. That means that it's working. So that is the other way of working it. So this is how to work with noun reflectors and then perfect reflectors in with the package natural. There's another simple way of also working with it. Instead of going through this long procedure, you can also use the attach method, right? So for example, say I have a verb, so I can also do this particular verb reflector. Dot attach. Dot attach allows you to be able to do some interesting stuff. Instead of calling all this stuff with the dot attach, you can just go straight away. You do whatever you want to do. So it's called auto dot row. Then I'll just go and supply whatever thing I want to do. So the way that I want to add supply is let's say talk, right? I want to convert talk to plural or singular. So talk is actually plural. So I want to convert to singular. So singular singularize. Then it's going to go with singularize present verb, right? I think that is six. I don't know this. Then if I run this particular stuff, let's see. It's going to work. Perfect. So it is able to convert this particular talk, right? To talks. It is quite interesting. So that is how to work with this particular package. So thank you for watching. If you have any question or contribution, I just put inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit. And please don't forget to subscribe and share. Stay